Okay, on this word problem, we're looking at a clothing business uh, that has found a linear relationship between the number of shirts N that they can sell and the price P that they're charging. In particular, this historic data says 14,000 shirts go along with a price of charging $13 per shirt. And then 17,000 shirts go along with a price of $7. Our goal is to find a linear equation in the form P equals M times N plus B. P is going to be the price they charge for N shirts. So it's important how they define this. That they told us P is on one side by itself, kind of like Y is normally, and N is our variable on the other side. So as we set up these ordered pairs, basically we have an N variable and we have a P variable. So let's be careful as we set these up that we said N, 14,000, goes along with a price of 13. And then our second was 17,000 goes along with a price of $7. All right, this is going to help us get everything lined up to figure out what our slope M is and our y-intercept B. So first, let's go ahead and try to find our slope. Now normally you may think of this as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, but in our case, our variables have changed from that. It's going to be, remember our variables were n and p, so I'm going to say n1 and p1, and then n2 and p2. So as we set up our formula, we're going to go p2 minus p1 over n2 minus n1. Just kind of filling in what we know from up above in our ordered pairs, we can say that 7 minus 13 over 1700, 17,000 minus 14,000. A little bit of simplifying down and we should get negative 6 over 3,000, which will reduce even further to negative 1 over 500. We're going to use that to be our m in our formula. So right now, filling that into our formula, it looks like p equals negative 1 500th times n plus b. Now at this point we don't know b, which would be our y-intercept in a normal equation. To get b, let's use one of our two ordered pairs that we have. I'm going to choose the first one, the n1, p1. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in, 13 is going to go for our p value, equals negative 1 500th, 14,000 is going to go in for our n value, plus b. So we still don't know what b is, but we can go ahead and combine together negative 1 500th times 14,000, and that's going to give us 13 equals negative 28 plus b. And to solve for b, we simply add 28 to both sides. All right, combining some like terms, we're going to get b equals 41. All right, putting that back with the information we've already had, we can come up with our final equation. It's going to be p equals negative 1 500th n plus 41. All right, hope this helps out as you're working on this linear equation. Go back to what you know about lines, finding the slope using the slope formula. Now the variables change sometimes, but it's basically the same idea as what you've done uh, with x's and y's. Just use n's and p's this time around. Hope this helps. Good luck.